Good morning, friends. Welcome to Azure Talks. So today uh, I have one uh, question from um, one of my team member in over here. So basically, he's he's an SQL expert and uh, like he's an SQL uh, beginner and he want to be an SQL expert. So he was asking about uh, collisions. So what do you mean by collisions? So collision in SQL Server provides sorting rules, case, ascent, uh, sensitivity properties for your data. So let's suppose I have a default collision as this. Let me open a notepad for you. So let's suppose I have collision of SQL as an SQL underscore Latin one, journal underscore CP one, underscore CI, and then AS. So what do you mean by this? So if you talk about in details, then um, the CI, the collate uh, CP or CI AS, they does have the meaning. So basically the Latin, uh, SQL is basically for SQL. Latin means you will normally have it. Uh, Latin makes the server treat strings using the uh, car set Latin one, basically SKI values. CP1, this CP1, is nothing but it stands for the code page 152, uh, 1252. And then CI means case in, uh, in sensitivity comparison on. Uh, so basically, if you talk about ABC, it will be equal to normal ABC in a small case. Then AS, AS is ascent sensitivity. So U with a double dot over on the top of it does not equal to U. So that means this requires the collision uh, settings. Now, Typically, people ask that how we can change it in uh, Azure SQL or normal SQL. So when we talk about in Azure, it's a very simple case. Just go to uh, Azure SQL. Try to create Azure SQL. Over here, we are looking for SQL virtual machine, not to the Azure SQL. So let's create a Azure SQL with the latest uh, free SQL license 2019 developer edition. So generally this type of uh, collisions is set by developers and it's application demand, which, which is required now. So let's suppose I use my own uh, existing resource, which is AZ120 and the virtual machine name. I will make it as uh, demo server and region. I may select as East US availability zone. I will say no. And then uh, the size, I will say I need a bigger size. So let's suppose I am looking for uh, B8, uh, B8 MS, B8 MS is normally we use it. So I will take B8 MS and then uh, the username and the password, uh, all these settings will be required. So uh, I make it as uh, as your user and the password is uh, the favorite one. Uh, okay, so it is requiring 13 characters. Similarly, put it in, into the Confirm password, then the RDP port 3389 will be used. I have licenses, yes. Uh, you need to confirm in case you are confirming this, you need to confirm with your internal IT team whether you have it or not. Okay, then the next point comes as a disk. So disk is okay. You can go for a uh, premium SSD or even you can go for a standard SSD. So if you need, if you are looking for some high high end IOPS, then yes, uh, premium SSD is okay. Uh, if not, then go for a standard SSD and say networking. Networking, it is taking by default virtual network, which is my virtual machine uh, virtual network. Yes, that is also okay. Uh, IP it is taking as a demo server IP address, which uh, with the help of the machine name demo server. And then uh, I think all this is uh, settings is okay. And then the load balancer, I don't need any Azure load balancer. So I will make it as none and then say next. Next is about monitoring. Yeah, I need uh, to have a proper shutdown and uh, the alert should be sent to uh, my email ID and then automatic OS update is required and then say next. This is the extension in case you want to install any extension. This will be used else we go for a SQL settings. So over here we will look for the coalition. So over here we can change the coalition depending upon our um, need. One more thing I would like to know. Uh, I will I want to tell you that storage when it talks about the storage there is a configuration which talks about that it will have a different data uh, drive which is the data will be in a different uh, 
different drive, same way as tempdb and the log file. So that's very uh, very important to understand. Then the settings comes as a maximum configuration which you want to have a as a max DOP as a zero, and then it comes to collision. So collision which I have shown you is just the same, but over here let's suppose we want to change it. So we will change it to some another. So find a collision, we will do it like this. And in case we require it, we can make it as uh, BC uh, and see if we have number of collisions. OK, so normally uh, if we talk about the BC, BC means it will have E, B, C, C, D, C. So this is, has a separate uh, understandings. So generally this will be used in the um, SAP. SAP SQLs, wherein SAP is hosted on the backup database, backend database is SQL, then this type of collision is used. So we'll say yes and say OK to it. OK, see the collision has been changed. So this is how you change the collision uh, into the SQL server. Uh, in case uh, you require, there are certain commands also, but this is more towards Azure. So this is the demo which I wanted to show you. Thank you all for listening and uh, please like, subscribe, share. Thank you very much.